Now that you have Unity installed, let me give you a quick overview of the interface of this amazing tool. So first of all, let's take a look at this panel in the middle. Right, so this is called the scene panel. And this is where you set up your objects. This is where you will move things around. Think of it as a stage and or, or a movie set. Right? So you are creating this set where your players and, and different characters will move around and interact with each other. So that's the scene view. Now the game view is what the players will see when they start the game. And it's different from the scene view because the scene view is for you, for the developers, to create the game, to create interactions, to place things on the map, to create a level. The game view is purely just for the players to play through the games, right? So this is the actual experience that we're trying to create. So that's the main difference between the scene view and the game view. Okay, and on the left hand side here, you can see the hierarchy panel. And this is where you will organize or place different objects into the scene. For example, we have a player character here, player object. If I double click on it, it will focus on this character, on this object. So you can see that this player is this guy right here in the scene. And you can move him around. So that's the hierarchy. This is where you have all your different objects. And now this is a very complex scene, so a lot of objects, a lot of different models and different props in this scene. So it's fairly complex. Uh, we will probably won't be creating something that's nearly close to this level of complexity. But it's good to know that this is what the hierarchy is for. Now, when we click on an object, and let's go to the inspector panel on the right here. This is where you can change different options on this object. You can find all the different components on the object. Now, Unity is a component-based engine, meaning you can stack different components onto a game object, and that dictates the various different attributes of the object. So for example, on this player object, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten different components on it, and each one serves a specific purpose. For example, the transform decides the position, rotation, and scale of this object. What does that mean? Well, if I change position, you can see that the object is being moved. It's now at a different position in the space. Right, so the inspector is for you to create or manipulate. You can add different components to an object or you can manipulate the different variables and different attributes in these components. We'll, call, we'll talk about the, com the specific components uh, in a bit. So that's the inspector, fairly important. Now, coming down here, we have the project view. Project view is, it's kind of like a, a folder structure. Basically, it's a folder structure for you to manage your files. Now, each game will have multiple files, different art assets, different graphics, different 3D models, um, and also different you know, scenes that you will probably save. And then this is where you can organize them and save them into different um, files, different folders. And uh, it, it's no more than that. It's basically a place for you to find your files, find your effects, find your graphics, uh, sound files if you have any sound effects. And then this is where you can find them. Uh, what, one thing you can do is you can drag this bar right here and then it sort of changes how big the preview uh, of that file is and uh, if you have a lot of files you might want to scale it way down so it's 
becomes just a list of things. Now you'll notice that when you click on an object in the projector or project view, project panel, the inspector will show the properties and different components of this particular file that you should just click on. Let's, let's try a, a sound file, right? So I, I just click on the sound file and uh, it shows the attributes of this file. You can make adjustments here. Also shows a preview. If you click on play, you'll be able to hear the music being played. So you can preview your assets here as well. Um, let me try to find an image file. Right. So this is a, a texture file. This is an image. So you can change different settings here as well. And all of that is happening in the inspector. So just remember, when you need to make any changes, check the inspector. It's most likely there. Okay, so that, that's the project view. And finally, we have console. And this is where you'll see all the error logs, anything that the system is trying to tell you. If there's something wrong, the system will tell you here. And this is where you will check and find out if there's a bug in your program. So that's basically the, a quick overview of the UI. And another thing is if you are if your UI looks different from this, from my setup here, you can click on this little menu here and click on default. Now I'm I'm just using the default view so you can quickly find this view. Another cool thing you can do uh, with this UI is okay let's try a different layout let's try a 2x3 now all the components or the different panels are being moved around right? so Unity provides this flexibility for you to to change the way you want the editor to look right? so you can click on a tab and then drag it place it somewhere else now that becomes a new layout. I can put this on the right hand side and that changes the editor. I can put this down here if I want more room. Now that the game view is here and the scene view is on the left hand side. Now don't worry about uh, messing up the scene because you can always go back here and then change back to default. If you've created a layout that you like in particular, let's say I always want console to be there, I can also save this layout. Click on save layout and just type a name for it. Save now, you can always select it. So this is the default layout, that's the new layout. Let's go back to default. And finally, uh, if you have just installed Unity, your Unity editor might have a darker skin. You might be wondering why. Well, if you go to Preferences, um, you can change the skin to either light or dark. Now, the this skin option is only available for Unity Pro. So this dark skin is only, only available for Unity Pro. Um, so, so we're going to stick with light since we are going to be using Unity Basic functions only. So there you have it. That's a basic overview of the UI of Unity.